What's going on guys? So you just got a new Android device and you probably picked up a Galaxy phone and you want to transfer your old data into the new one. You know who else is transferring stuff to me? Our sponsor, Nobody. I do want to preface this by saying that this is not the only way to transfer data from your old Android device into your new one. But if you do have a Galaxy phone, it is highly recommended to use the Smart Switch app because it just does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. All right, so the phone in the middle is going to represent what a new phone would be like once you set it up. So it's gonna be whatever wallpaper that you get. On the right is a Pixel 7 Pro, and then on the left is the S24 Ultra. So this is really just showing that you can use pretty much any Android device you want in order to do this transfer. So what you wanna do on the new device is go ahead and search for the app Smart Switch, which is installed by default on most Galaxy products hit smart switch, and you want to receive data. So you have the option between iPhone, iPad, or Galaxy and Android. Click on Galaxy and Android. Now you have the option between doing cable or wireless. If you wanna be hands-free, highly recommend wireless. You just have to be a little bit quiet during the initial process. So I'm gonna go ahead and do wireless. So now it's saying get smart switch on your old device to connect. If you don't have it, you can click on this. Just like that, it'll prompt you with a QR code and you can go ahead and scan it. Click on that and it'll bring you up to the Play Store to install it. All right, so now you're gonna be presented with this screen here and I'm gonna go ahead and hit Let's Go, Wireless. You should notice a green dot. That means that the microphone is being turned on to listen to that frequency. So you'll see the invitation from should be the name of your device. You can hit accept. All right, so now it's just looking for data to transfer over. And I'm going to walk you through some of the next screens you're going to see. So you're gonna have three options here. You can do everything and everything really does mean everything. Your contacts, your messages, photos, settings. Everything is gonna be transferred over. It's in the name itself. Now, you also have a quicker option, two minutes, which is just accounts, calls, contacts, and messages. Or you can customize it a little bit to you know, pick exactly what you want. So you can do calls, messages, apps, settings, things like that. Now, personally for me, I'm completely fine with transferring over everything. I know some people say they don't like to do that. They just like to do the essentials and install their apps separately because they want their new device to feel like a fresh device. Um, but from my own experience, I like to transfer everything just because I want everything from my old device to my new one. Pick the option that best suits your needs. You can go ahead, you can go ahead and hit next and you're gonna be prompted with this next message. <laughs> pun intended. So you have the option to choose how far back do you wanna pull your messages from? So you can do three months, 30 days, six months, one year, two years, or all. Once again, it's my old device. I'd like to keep everything that I have to the new one. So I'm going to select all. And this is the other important thing. Now, if you're an American, you probably don't know what a WhatsApp is, but for everyone else that lives on this planet, WhatsApp is actually not going to transfer. And this is very important because WhatsApp is probably your default communication or the tool that you use the most to talk to people. It is not going to be transferred over whenever you go to your new device. I will show you how to, to back up and restore WhatsApp messages on your new device, but it is letting you know that that is not going to transfer. So once you hit next, you have the ability to keep the screen on. Highly recommend you probably keep this charged or on the wireless charger while this is happening and the screen dim so it doesn't use as much power. And also you can go ahead and use your device as normal. Now I do wanna mention one thing when it comes to the apps because that is a big portion of what is getting transferred. If you aren't on Wi-Fi or if you are on a rated internet plan or cell phone plan, probably do custom and just uncheck apps and then uninstall, uninstall apps when you have a solid connection. The other thing that you can do as well is, you know, when you do that custom step, select everything but apps, but then when you have a stable connection on Wi-Fi, probably overnight, go ahead, do smart switch, only transfer over the apps and then you're good to go. So that's another way that you can do it as well. But yeah, you can use the device normally while it's transferring. If you ever wanna know what the status is, you can search for the Smart Switch app once again. It'll bring it back up here, or you can swipe down and click on the transferring. So I'm gonna stop the transfer just for the sake of showing you how to do this on another Galaxy device. It's pretty much a one-to-one. -one. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Smart Switch. I want to receive data from a Galaxy phone this time. 
and I want to do the wireless method again. All right, so this is the Galaxy S24. Hypothetically, this is just an older Android device. I know it's the latest one, but just bear with me here. So this is a old Android device here, and I want to use the Smart Switch app. So I'm gonna open it up on here. And I want to send data wirelessly. So at the bottom here, it's gonna say connect to the S24 7840, 7840, hit connect. Looks pretty much identical to what we saw on the 7 Pro. So highly recommend if you have a Galaxy phone, just use Smart Switch, makes everything a lot easier. As you can tell, there is a lot more information on this S24 Ultra than my Pixel 7. So it's about 167 gigs, it's gonna take nearly two hours. Um, so once again, if you just want to get up and running, hi highly recommend just doing accounts, calls, contacts, and messages. If you want everything but your apps because you don't really have a good connection or if you're on a rated plan, select all items and then uncheck apps. Then once you have a stable connection, go ahead, do this process again, select apps, and then all your apps will be integrated as well. So it's almost like a two-step process. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select everything. And then I can go ahead and do all time for my messages and I should be good. So this is another unique screen that you might see as well. So if you have multiple Google accounts linked up, you can actually transfer those accounts one by one. So if you do decide to do that, you want to hit copy on your old device, choose the pin, but it is going to prompt you for your password as well. You can see here, it's prompting me for my new password. So like I said before, make sure to have your password handy if you do intend to copy over your Google accounts. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna skip over because it's not essential to what I need this device to do. All right, so for my WhatsApp people, this is what you want to do. You want to go on your old device that you're signed in on WhatsApp and go to WhatsApp, of course. You then wanna to go to your settings. To get to your settings, there's gonna be three dots up here. Click on that. It's gonna be a drop down menu. Click on settings. You wanna go over to chats and there's two ways of doing this. You can do transfer chats or chat backup. I typically do chat backup because I've had a pretty high success rate on transferring over my messages from device to device, but I will show both instances. So click transfer chats, hit start, hit continue, allow. Now it's saying download WhatsApp on your new phone, register with the same phone number, use this phone to scan the QR code shown on your new phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to WhatsApp that I just installed, English, agree, allow. All right, so now it's showing the screen, transfer chat history from old phone. You wanna hit continue, allow, continue, allow location. We have to scroll down to WhatsApp and allow while using the app. And then you're gonna be prompted with this QR code here. So on your old device, just scan that. Might have to back up a little. And this is probably why I don't use this feature. <laughs> Let me just try again. Start, there we go. So if it's blurry at first, just go back and try again. <clears throat> so it says stay on the screen, searching for my new phone. Okay. Uh, so showing you guys in real time what might potentially happen. It's saying try again, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm actually going to cancel, transfer chats again at the bottom here, and hit start, scan it. All right, it did take a while. I'd probably say that took about 20, 30 seconds for this prompt to show up. So go ahead, hit accept. So it's preparing on the left-hand side. I almost hit the cancel button and just let it do its thing. All right, complete setup on the new device. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. All right, now it says transfer is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and hit next, continue. That's fine, that's fine, that is fine. Um, so you wanna type in your name, hit next. Don't wanna do pass keys for now. And just like that, all my WhatsApp messages are here. Now on your old device, you probably are gonna get signed out. You'll probably see this prompt that, hey, your phone number is now signed in on another device. Go ahead, hit login. 
And now I'm going to show you the other method of transferring your WhatsApp messages from your old device to your new one. So in this example here, my new device is actually gonna be the Pixel 7 Pro, and my old device is gonna be the S24. So go to your settings on WhatsApp. So you're gonna to go to the similar screen, click on the three dots if you don't see this, then click on settings, should bring you to this. Then click on chats, scroll down, chat backup, click backup. Now, my recommendation is if you have a Google account, highly recommend that you select it. That way you have the ability to um, back up on a daily or monthly basis. I typically do daily, but if you were to select that, it's going to prompt you for your Google account. So do bear that in mind. So it is backed up. I'm gonna go to my new device, open up WhatsApp, click on the language, hit agree type in my phone number. So this is another prompt you might see where it's like, do you know what your reg registration code is on your older device? So I'm gonna type this one in. So now it's saying we can easily send messages, blah, 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 go ahead and continue. So now it's looking for backup. So you'll see here that it may or may not have the account associated with it. Um, but I'm okay with this backup. Just make sure that the time is relatively close to when you took the backup on your old device. Go ahead, hit restore, and the chat should come back pretty quickly. The only thing that might take some time is the media. As you can see here, 10,000 messages were restored. Hit next, the name, skip for pass keys, and then bada bing, bada boom, your chats should appear here. At the top, it's gonna show that it's restoring your media. I highly recommend doing that on a Wi-Fi connection or if you have an unlimited plan, do that as well. But that is pretty much how to transfer your WhatsApp messages from your old device to your new one because I know a lot of people use WhatsApp. So hopefully you found this video informative. Appreciate every single sub, like, and comment. And as always, guys, much love.